Welcome back. So now we actually have found our customer, hopefully, and now we want to remove him from our customer's list. A uh, few things I want to mention here. First of all, let's try and actually use this customer inside an if statement. So what I want to do is kind of say, if the customer actually exists in here, right? So if customer not equals null. So that pretty much means if I've found a customer, but notice I'm getting an error here, which is that I cannot use an unassigned uh, local variable. What does that mean? Well, it means that right now, if I'm zooming back out, back out, there's actually a possibility that this will never be set to anything. It'll just be a memory location with no assignment at all. So as a minimum to make this work, we have to assign it to what we call the null value, meaning that it's nothing. It's just an empty space in memory, but we know that it's, uh, it's a used space in memory, if you can put it that way. So now we have the customer found set to null. We can ask if he's not null, meaning that we actually found a customer in this loop right here. And if that is the case, what I want to do is I want to go into my customer's list like this, and I want to remove the guy I just found. So I'll do a remove like this, and here I'll put in my customer found. Customer found. There we go. So now it should have been removed, right? I hope this works. We'll try it out now. I want you guys to um, understand this is not the way I would do it. And as we go to the next part of this course, I'll show you a better way of doing the same thing with something called link. But I don't think we're ready to attack link just yet. We'll do it later. So right now, this is the simple way of doing it using a for each loop. And uh, let's try and run this and see if it actually works. I want to delete customer number one because I know that's actually uh, the first customer. Nothing bad happened at least. Let's try and list the customer. Now actually only customer two is available. Let's try and delete customer two as well. There we go. I'll list customers. Shows no customers. Let's try and add a customer now and let's call him uh, Billy. That was specially spelled Billy and call him Husk and address Husk Street. Yeah, I'm really trying to come up with something. I just can't. And he's back now with ID3. And just to test this one final time, let's delete ID3 and list customer. And now he's gone. So it's running. We can now delete as well. And yes, it's not perfect, this program right now. There's a lot of cool changes we can make. But let's just keep it simple for now with these loops and stuff like that. And then we will start looking at how we can make this a lot better when we start talking about link, uh, how we start talking about other ways of actually splitting our code up into different layers and stuff like that. See you in the next lesson where we'll try and also make it so we can edit our customers. Have fun.